Well, question 11 says, list the state for students whose height is greater than 70 and weight is at least 185 pounds. So again, we can clearly see that we are only talking about students. So our table is students and we only want the state. So the select class is going to have only state. So select state from students. Okay, so that much is pretty clear. The condition is only slightly more complicated than what we've seen before. The condition requires us to say the height is greater than 70. And so obviously we are going to have a wear class. Height is greater than 70. So we can say height greater than 70. And of course, since it says and, we need to have an and in the wear class. And then it says weight is at least 185. Okay, so there's a subtle difference between height being greater than 70, which means strictly greater than 70, but weight is at least 185, which means weight is greater than or equal to 185. Okay, so you'll write the condition like this. Okay, now of course, whether you put the weight first or the height first doesn't really matter. So you could have said weight greater than or equal to 185 and height greater than 70. That would be fine as well. Okay, but the whole point is to see the difference between greater than and greater than equal to. You have to be sensitive to these sorts of things when you're writing SQL or in general as well.